This is a tutorial on how to import data into Python. So let's say we have a table of values and we want to import those into Python, be able to analyze those, maybe turn this into something like a plot, show the data over time or over a different value, and then be able to maybe export um, that to something like an Excel file or other type of uh, file that you can use to look at the data and analyze it further. So we're going to use Python to import the data. Uh, we're going to use a package called pandas for this. If you'd like to follow along with this, this is all at the uh, Python course on the 263 website. So if you just are going there for the first time, that is uh, CHE 263. And then here in the right is the schedule and you can see this is our Google Colab. Um, you can also go and get that, um, you know, all the files. This is homework number two. Uh, here, the IPython notebook, or you can just select this uh, Google Colab link and it'll open up in a web browser. Okay, I'm just going to come back here. I have it open up. I have it opened up in an IPython notebook. We're going to import uh, some data, some stock data. This is an Apple, Apple data. And, um, if you just open it up, if you select that link and open it up, it's going to bring up, um, you know, Excel. And uh, you can just look at the data. This is just a month's worth of data. You can also go and download more from, uh, you know, the uh, Yahoo uh, Finance. And you can get additional data uh, that you'd like. Okay, so there's just the open, high, low, close, adjusted close, and volume for the Apple stock for a month. I'll go ahead and just say don't save that because what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this link and we are going to import pandas as PD and then we want to have our data I'm going to call this Apple um, is going to be PD and then read uh, CSV and then there's our URL okay so I'm going to run this and it's going to read uh, the data into the Apple uh, variable now. Okay, so we want to look at this. I'll just do Apple head, and that will give us a table uh, similar to what we saw in Excel. It just uh, is going to format it here in the IPython notebook. And those are the first leading five rows. If we wanted to switch that to seven rows, I could just put a seven there. If you just leave that uh, blank, it'll go back to five as a default. Okay, so let's go ahead and just show the tail as well. This is a data frame. Um, I'm going to show maybe just the last uh, three numbers or the last five. You know, whatever you, you want to be able to see. So sometimes it's helpful to see the first rows and then the last rows. And then uh, we also want to be able to describe our data. And it, just some simple and common analysis uh, is going to be performed by... Uh, just the dot describe function and that will give us the count how many values we have the mean standard deviation the minimum 25% um, the quartile uh, 50 75 and then max so it shows you the distribution of your data in tabular form as well okay so you can also use uh, you know the built-in max min and then if we also uh, wanted to import NumPy as NP, and then we could print, for example, uh, we could print uh, the maximum of, uh, you know, one of the columns. Um, so let's just go ahead and select, uh, you know, you could, you could look at, for example, something like the adjusted uh, close or the open or something like that. So let's just go with the, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the open price. And, oh, I guess I shouldn't use open. I'll use OP instead. And we'll just do APPL. And then I'll just access that one column, which is open. And then what I'll do is look at the max. Okay, so this is going to be the value. This is our open value. Um, and if I just looked at the max, it should agree with this one right here. So I can do this for individual columns as well. I could use min. I could use the standard deviation. 
Okay, and let's just do standard deviation. Oh, uh, let's see what's going on. NumPy. Uh, I think it's just STD. Okay, for standard deviation. And then that should agree. Looks like it's calculated just a little bit differently than uh, the descriptive statistics. Sometimes there's a, like the, you have a minus one or the not minus one in the denominator for the n minus one. Uh, so sometimes there's just a little bit of a difference based on how you're calculating things like uh, some of the statistics. Okay, so um, anyway, you can do that for other ones as well. Um, you know, you can get, uh, you know, calculate these yourself. Uh, for example, median is not included in this, but let's say you wanted the median of this as well. Median. Okay, so there's our median value. Okay, so there's some additional descriptive statistics that you can use uh, with NumPy. Okay, now we want to be able to create a time series plot um, using the stock high, low, and open price for each day. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to copy something in um, uh, just to be able to show this. Um, so I'm going to have matplotlib inline. Um, and then I have, I'm going to import my matplotlib pyplot as plt. This is how we get the package in there that does our plots for us. I'm just creating a figure. You can just leave off this uh, figure size if you want. You don't have to include that in there. I just made it a little bit bigger. Um, and so if I run it, there's the default. Um, but if you want to make it just a little bit bigger, you can put the figure size back in there. And then I had my X values were the date. And then my Y value was open, high, low. And I changed the color. So there's a black line, a red dashed line a blue dotted line, and then I have some different line widths I put in there as well. I just rotated uh, my X ticks so they would be all aligned vertically. And so if I leave that out, for example, then it's just going to show something that's horizontally aligned. It's really hard to see. So I just put that back in so it would uh, make it look a little bit better. And then I put a legend in there so you can see these values. And then I, if you're not in matplotlib, you need to put the plt.show, or sorry, if you're not in um, Jupyter Notebook, and this is only required for the Jupyter Notebook as well. I just put both of those in there just in case you're uh, dealing with IDLE or a text editor or some other environment besides an IPython notebook. Okay, so let's go on down. Uh, this was a demonstration of how to import data. Uh, we're going to do this for a couple additional uh, stocks as well. In this case, we're going to do it for Google and then for ExxonMobil as well. And again, you're welcome to go and uh, get uh, that data yourself. So if I did Google, I would just do uh, pd.read uh, CSV. And then I could just put in this uh, link right here. Okay, and then I can do the same thing for Exxon Mobil. I'm just going to call these data frames uh, something else so I don't overwrite that. And I'll just change this link. Okay, so I've imported the data. Let's just show the first uh, few. Uh, okay, for seven rows. Okay, there's Google. I want to insert another cell. I just insert a cell below. And then I can look at the Exxon Mobil data as well. Okay, so there are the dates and the open, high, low, close, adjusted close and volume. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just describe our data. Um, I'll just do describe. There's the statistics. If you want to do that for Google as well, there are the statistics for Google. Okay, so now we want to divide by the close price because what we want to do is compare these two stocks, maybe. On a way, in a way that um, allows us to do just kind of a side-to-side -side comparison. Uh, and so we're going to normalize them. We're going to normalize it by the maximum value. And, um, you know, what we'll do on this one is um, let's just go ahead and get the max value. So I'll just do max uh, Google. Um, and then I could just do something like NP dot. Um, I could just do max. And then this one is going to be G-O-O-G. 
and then I want my close price okay so let's just see what that equals and I'm gonna do a formatted string here okay the max uh, close price for Google is okay and then I can put in some uh, curly parentheses this is new in Python 3.6 and then I could just put MX uh, G O O G. Okay, so there I have uh, I've just printed that, but I've stored it as this as this variable. Let's go and do that same thing for the max for uh, my other one as well, Exxon Mobil. And there we have Exxon Mobil as well. I've computed that, but I haven't printed it. Okay, so now we want to generate, um, we want to divide the close price by the maximum close price over the past month so the values are divided by the maximum value for that particular stock. And repeat this for both stocks so that the stock prices can be more easily compared on the same plot. So let's just do, um, uh, I'll just do scaled Google. Um, I'll just do SG scaled Google and let's just take our close price all right and I will divide it by the max of my Google and then I'll do the same for Exxon Mobil and that's going to be my close and then I'll do my max Exxon Mobil Okay, so now I have the scaled. Um, if I do print scale Google, okay, I'm going to see all the values are going to be scaled. You can see it's going to be equal to one where the maximum occurred. Now I can plot this um, in my subsequent rows. I'm going to generate a plot that has the close, high, and low values, but includes both, um, you know, the uh, Exxon Mobil and the Google in the same. So I'm just going to come up here and grab this one. And then I'll just include the Exxon Mobil and Google uh, with that. Okay, so let's just do Exxon Mobil. Okay, and then we have the scaled, scaled Exxon. Oh, there I okay so there's this is going to be the uh, scaled Exxon I think I just leave off the s uh, the parentheses there the brackets because I've already selected the just that column okay and then I have my line width and then uh, let's say I want to include as well um, okay this is my Google they should have the same values there so you should just be able to use that same one I'm gonna make this a black dash line instead let me just comment these other two out and let's run it just to see and see the two. Okay, so there's the scaled uh, prices. You can see the maximum was hit for the dash one, which is Google, uh, you know, earlier in the month. Here's the maximum for Exxon Mobil, um, you know, later in the month. And then let's add the, the other ones as well. Um, let's add the high and the low values. Okay, so I think I'm going to need to scale these as well. So uh, let's do let's do this. I'm going to take my um, Exxon Mobil high. And I can just scale them right here in this one. Okay, this is our Exxon Mobil high divided by the uh, max Exxon Mobil, and let's make this a red line. And I'll reduce the line width a little bit. All right, and then we'll also have the high, but for uh, Google. And let's just make this um, Google and make this a dashed line. So all the Google ones are going to be dashed, and all the Exxon Mobil ones are going to be solid. Okay, so you can see the max and the min. Okay, and then let's, um, you know what, this looks kind of bad so let's just change this to a different color I'll just do green that might even look worse I'm not sure 
Okay, but there's a green dashed line. Um, and so our upper and lower limits for one are going to be green, and the other one are going to be red. And then just change this to low as well. Okay, and I think that should give us our uh, regions there. The green are going to be associated with Google, and the red are going to be associated with ExxonMobil. Okay, and then we also have our uh, dates printed there, and the legend is automatically generated because it uses the column header name from Pandas. Okay, so there's our, um, there's our plot, uh, the close data, daily high and low values and have a legend and axis. So let's add an axis to this as well. Okay, so this is going to be the X label and that would be time. Okay, when I add that, it'll put time right there. And then we could also do Y label. And this is the scaled price. All right, so there it is, scaled price. Um, both equal to one. So you can see the distribution, the open and close price, or the, sorry, the high and low price for the day, and then the close, uh, the close price as well. So let's save this um, as well. You can save this plot, plt dot uh, save uh, save fig, and so we could do like uh, price uh, analysis dot png or something like that, or you could do a JPEG as well. Okay, um, I'm gonna save it as well as a JPG. Okay, so when I uh, run this, it's gonna save these locally to my, um, let's just see if I have those in here. So here it is, I've got my uh, price And it doesn't look like it uh, generated correctly. Let's see what's going on with that. Oh, I think I need to do this. Get rid of the show. Uh, once I do the show, and let's see if I can do the save figure again. No, it doesn't look like it wants to show it for some reason. Okay. Um, let me just come back here. I'm going to paste these back up into this original uh, line here. And let's just see if that helps with being able to generate these. Ah, looks like we got more data there. Uh, so it looks like they need to be in the same cell. So there's our figure. You could paste that into you know, onto the web or on into a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. There's a JPEG and then a PNG version as well. If you're uh, doing something for like an academic journal, I do recommend something like EPS, Encapsulated Postscript, or uh, you could also do something like, uh, you know, other formats that are lossless. Um, those are going to look really good in uh, something like LaTeX uh, if you include it in there. Okay, so there's our uh, plot. Uh, just don't do the save fig down here. Just do it uh, up in this cell. Okay, and then uh, problem number two. There's already a video for this one. If you'd like to go to uh, the course website and just under homework help here on the right, and I'll post the solution videos. Uh, so here's the Python solution two on how to import data uh, again from pandas and generate a plot. And I'll paste this uh, link to uh, this video here as well.